McKesson Practice Choice is a fully comprehensive physician practice solution designed around the needs and processes of the small physician office. Certified for meaningful use, this one system combines EMR, scheduling, e-prescribing, the patient portal, a claims engine with real-time eligibility checking, the ERA, a clearinghouse with unlimited claims, and lab integration. In this video, we will explore scheduling, the patient encounter, documentation, the documents library, and processing a claim. Practice choice. Welcome to McKesson Practice Choice. First, please notice the three icons at the bottom of the screen. Patient charts, scheduling, and billing. From these three guide points, you will navigate the entire solution. On the left, you have your scheduling work list. Schedules may be customized for your office and can be set up for physicians, staff, rooms, or devices. You have the option to view the schedules in the day, week, or month view, or to view multiple schedules side by side. The different colors you see on the schedule represent the different types of appointments. The appointment types, colors, and duration are completely customizable. Now let's schedule the patient, Sean Child. McKesson Practice Choice is a smart search engine, so when you start typing the patient's name, it will bring up any names that match the search criteria. Once you select Sean's name, you are taken to the new appointment screen. On the left-hand side, you will see the editable demographic information, contact information, and insurance. While you have Sean's mom on the phone, you may notify her of a balance due on the account. Sean Child's appointment will now appear on the schedule. Next up is Margaret Smith, who just approached the front desk to check in. Double-click on her name and make an update to her information. McKesson Practice Choice gives you the option to run batch insurance eligibility checks prior to the patient's arrival. However, you can check Margaret's insurance eligibility real-time. You'll accept her cash copay and move Margaret to checked in. Because McKesson Practice Choice is a fully integrated system, by changing her status to checked in, you have done two other things in the system. You opened up today's encounter and may start documenting her visit in the chart and started a preliminary claim so your biller knows to expect charges soon. Select Save and Close and Margaret is ready to be seen. Now that Margaret has checked in, you'll move to the clinical side of McKesson Practice Choice and document today's encounter. You'll notice that your work list appears again on the left-hand side. Here are your appointments for today, which you may filter to show only those patients who are ready to see the physician. This allows you to easily review, finish, and sign notes from the staff members you supervise and to access any notes you've started but not finished. The third tab is our clinical tasks. Lab results are included in McKesson Practice Choice and these inbound results will automatically populate in the patient's chart and in the work list. Now, with a single click, you'll open Margaret's chart. Up at the top of the chart, you have a banner with the patient's demographic information as well as any allergies. Directly underneath is the chart tab, which allows for intuitive navigation of the patient chart. And over here is the encounter detail and progress notes section, which will be covered later. Here in the patient summary tab, you'll notice a timeline of patient visits. Hover over one for more information. This one screen allows you to get a summary of this patient's previous encounters in a single glance. If you would like additional information on any item on this screen, simply navigate to that section of the chart. First, your nurse will review Margaret's history. This tab contains the past medical, family, and social history sections. Anything you update in these sections can be pulled into the progress note. The red text denotes a pick list. By clicking on the pick list, you'll see a list of options and you can select one or multiple items from the list. You will see these pick lists again in the progress note. Next, you'll move to the vitals tab. 
Let's say you want to graph the last five vitals. McKesson Practice Choice has a number of preset graphs, or you can choose the vitals you'd like to plot on the graph. Let's take a look at how Margaret's weight is affecting her blood pressure. This graph can help Margaret connect to the need for behavioral modification, medication adherence, or procedures. Perhaps you want to take a quick glance at the document library before starting your progress note. The Document Library tab is where you can scan and upload items directly into the system. This tab is especially useful for the offices that are coming from paper and those offices that receive high volumes of faxes and paper items. As you can see, you have the ability to filter the items based on the type of document you're looking for. Now that you've updated the history, taken and charted vitals, and reviewed the clinical note, you are ready to start documenting in the Progress Note section. On the right side of the chart, click to open up a progress note. McKesson Practice Choice has a number of templates already loaded in the system, but you can customize your progress notes to fit your office and workflow. Let's start with our ear pain template. As you can see, the SmartNote technology pre-populated much of the chart for you. Here again are your pick lists. Once selected, the picked item will change to black font and live in the signed note. All red, blue, and green items will be removed from the finished note. As you skip down towards the bottom, you'll see gray boxes for McKesson Practice Choice Smart Codes. Any information you enter in these sections will be pushed to the chart tabs when you save or sign the note. Now it's time to enter the diagnosis and procedure for today's visit. In McKesson Practice Choice, you have the ability to search for codes using natural language or common abbreviations. And here is a list of codes that match your search criteria. For the offices that frequently see a particular diagnosis or common set of diagnosis and procedure codes, you have the freedom to set up custom codes. Here, you'll mark the follow-up and sign off on your note. As you can see, the signed note moves to the history section. If you take a glimpse at the Diagnosis Procedure tab, you'll see the Smart Note technology in action as these items were pushed from the notes to the chart tab. Now you may send the charges. McKesson Practice Choice gives you the ability to send charges even if the note is not fully completed, which allows your biller to start processing your claims right away. Now that the charges are sent over by the physician, you are able to process the claim. Again, your work list is on the left-hand side. You'll select Claim Search and see the claims for today, or choose to change the search filters to see additional claims in the system. You have a number of claims that are already in progress for today, which means charges have been sent over and these claims are ready for review. Let's open up the claim that was just sent over. First, you'll make sure the provider and insurance information listed on the claim is correct and that the primary filing type is electronic. Since you have a fee schedule loaded into the system, you'll simply review that the charges listed are correct and move the claim to ready to post. Since you have automatic posting turned on, this claim is ready to be processed. You can move to the Claims Processing tab to process the claims for today. This final step can be done after each claim or for an entire batch of claims. By selecting Process, your claims are sent to the Clearinghouse. You'll receive three reports in the Log Viewer, Rejected Claims, Claims Accepted by the Clearinghouse, and Those Accepted by the Payer. That completes this demonstration of McKesson Practice Choice. There is much more to this solution than what was covered in this